Susu is here, and I thought it would be a good opportunity for me to share four really great quick tips with you and with Susu, inspired by the fact that so many of you have commented on these gorgeous orchids that sit behind my sofa in my living room. Now, this is one of my favorite uh, favorite theories, philosophies, and tricks, Susu. Okay. Because okay? you okay. were asking me about this. Yes. And that is that I like to blend real with faux for a little bit more pizzazz. And it's kind of a money saving tip, I Maybe, think, yeah. because yeah. if I had bought this entire orchid arrangement at an expensive florist, it would have cost me quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So you were asking which ones are real. <laughs> And which ones aren't? And honestly, unless you do two things, and I agree, you uh -huh. you can't tell. Okay, so what did you finally decide was the trick for you to determine? Well, for me, the trick was feel and feel the stems. This stem is a little rougher. Um, the real stem is smoother. Is smoother. But the flowers look. The flowers, it's almost to impossible to tell. In fact, I tried this myself the other day to feel the yeah. real, yeah. and it was very difficult for me to determine the difference. Mm -hmm. Now, what really is helpful when you do this is about half of these are real, and I got three pots from Trader Joe's. They were all the same kind of orchid. And then when I got some faux orchids, the faux orchids, I made sure to match <laughs> So that they yeah. identically, identically replicated the real ones. And then I just stuck them in all together. Now, if I wanted to completely trick anybody who looks at this, I could have also spray painted these, the darker mm -hmm. green, like the real stem. But believe me, nobody gets that far. Wow. Nobody thinks that these are not all real and just a really fabulous and beautiful composition. Mm -hmm. And for me, that's just fine. The other <laughs> nice thing about this, Stuart laughs, the other nice thing is, is when the real ones do die, I'll just clip those back and I will still have the fake ones that wow. are of the exact wow. same variety as the leaves. Wow. So am I, am I, am I I'm cheating impressed. a little bit? No, I'm impressed. Okay, and it looks pretty. Okay, <laughs> here's something else that you commented on. When, you know when you're sitting in a bar and it's got that really wonderful French cafe romantic lighting yes, that you exactly like? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't it? It just, yeah. it, I feel like I, we should have La Vie en Rose playing in the background. But I found these, I think I got these on Amazon. Um, I just got- too, right, aren't they? Yeah, it's feel, like, feel. Like, They've really got heft to them. So Definitely. they're not going to blow over. Definitely. or They'd be great outside. But what I like about these is that they recharge. So they are battery powered. And you just use... I don't know, you can't see Can it. you see it? Okay, yeah. you can just use one of those cable <laughs> charges. Now, I, I still haven't really completely figured out how long the life is and all of that kind of thing to mac maximize using them. They have a touch on and off. Oop, that, I can't see. Hold on. Come back Okay. Around. Come back here. Sorry. I'm getting okay. caught on stuff. So on the top, there's just a little button or it looks like a decorative element. You touch it to turn it off. You touch it to turn it on. Brighter and brighter still. And wouldn't this look so dear on multiple small tables if you were entertaining or whatever? And they, they are real brass and marble and they were not prohibitively expensive. The other nice thing about them, I think, is they do the same thing as candlelight, mm -hmm. but without the flame. Mm -hmm. So if you're worried about starting fires or forgetting to turn them off or something, I think yeah. it's really nice. The other reason I like them is if you've got, say, a plate rack like mine, I've got it in my in my breakfast room, Susu, mm -hmm. and it's got it's got little cubbies that are narrow and tall. You could you put, put these in there where you couldn't put a candle flame. So I really, oh, I, I really right. like these. Yeah. I think a couple of these, actually, I think a couple of these would make a great wedding gift. It's a decorative mm -hmm. safety tip. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Very elegant, <laughs> very high end, very French bistro, I think. Perfect. Okay, so I kind of, I just went to a wedding last night. Um, if you, if some of you who follow me, you may have watched the video that we did. Susu, did you see the one where I had a shower in my house? Yes. For my friend, yes. um, Lisa Burton's daughter, Ellen, who was in carpool with us for years. He was in my son Johnny's grade. Well, she got married last night. The wedding was absolutely wonderful. 
And so I've kind of got wedding on the brain. Now, I'm not taking credit for this idea, you guys. I, I fully give credit to my friend Deborah, who is just the best gift giver in the world. But at my son's wedding, they had these wonderful matches made with water on them. And I just think they are so beautiful and yeah, classy mm -hmm. and elegant. And I love kind of the brass wording on them. And she loved them too. So we asked my daughter-in-law for the source of these matches. And so I shouldn't say this because her kids might watch this video, but she is getting all of them <laughs> Vid or uh, matches to match okay. their namesake for Christmas because you guys know that if you can, I love the the simple elegance and, and joy of striking a match versus one of those little plastic clickers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think that aren't they, isn't that a great novel idea? It's very cool. Yeah. Or a great hostess gift if oh, you, if yes. you're yeah yes. if you're going to someone's home for the holidays. I think it's it's just a wonderful idea. And it may take me a little while to find the, the source again, the link to these, but I will make sure to get them to you. And these are in navy and gold, but you know, if you get some and they match the color palette of your home, wouldn't that just be beautiful? And then you can just keep them kind of, you know, lying about and in all of their inherent elegance. So that is just three little ideas that I thought I would share with you because we all get so busy around the holidays and definitely you and I both are keeping it simple this year for, yes. different, for different reasons, but we're keeping it simple this year. So if you can create beauty in easy steps in a thrifty manner, I think it's a good idea. So you guys might wanna copy a couple of these ideas yourself. Well, here's a very quick outfit of the day, but the important element is this apron because it's we're getting ready to go into elf season, Stuart. We are. And so you really need to get your elf attire on. And I got this off of World Market. I think they might be on sale now. I actually have it in two different colors and I love it. I, I, I love the fact that it's got pockets. So it's really, it's really great when you're just kind of putzing around the house, you know, just kind of always, yeah, always putzing around the house <laughs> yeah and you can stick all sorts of things in here your reading glasses your phone and I really like that this came from world market uh, I wore the the same outfit in a different video these are some uh, great earrings I got these from banana republic I bought this sweater which you really kind of can't see too much of but I got it online we'll try to put a link below and uh, my steal of a purchase this year my jeans were hundred and twenty dollar jeans from Banana Republic that I got I think for $23 on sale. I know isn't that a great deal and and they have stretch to them which is why I like them and then my booties came from I, I don't I don't know they are they're my booties for the week I don't even think they've got a name brand in You're them. allowed not to know. But I'm allowed not to know so there you go there is my outfit du jour.